Round up the round And then stretch your fingers Do the work in the out Where it was to shine and see It's true
in the Waverly Right Aids Pharmacy Department. I like to keep the shelves stacked for her, said a Right Aid employee. This clerk has appointed himself responsible for the woman's death. Although the district manager officially released a statement pointing to structural errors and internal miscommunication, it's, it's really that these newer shelf frames can't withstand all the weight our older models are used to, district manager Healy said. Well, nevertheless, entering the one sunny Waverly store is harrowing. Sharpie on electric tape notes throughout every aisle of the store. They convey messages of complex bereavement. I loved you. I love, love you so much. I'm sorry, they read. The employee has not since resigned and has instead spent the past two days since the event re-itemizing and inventorying every item in the store. We may need to ask for him to leave soon, said Rod Stiles, a Waverly Branch team manager. This has been tough on all of us, including the family involved. Right now, we're just trying to rebuild a feeling of safety in our store and then move on. He's not making it easier for himself, the rest of the team, or our customers by haunting around our store with these notes, crying. He's been a great member of the team, but quite frankly, I, I don't think we have a profit margin to subsidize his grief. The Waverly Right Way at East 32nd and Green Mound remains open daily from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m.